Ready, set, go! Hello and welcome to the Loop Challenge here at Willy's Butt. The contestants will launch off into the loop, over the ramp, and must land past all of the spiky cacti. And the winner will receive this loop crown. And our judges today are these two Hello. minions. Hey. Right, let's get started. First up, it's Michelangelo. Go. Ooh, close one. Judges, did he make it past the cacti? Um, we'll allow it. Ah, oh, well done. You're through. Now it's Spider-Man. Go! Oh dear, what happened? Ah, oh, not enough speed. You're out. Ultron next. Go! Oh wow, look how far he went. Whoa! He's definitely through. Now it's Batman. Go! Oh, did he make it? Oh no, he didn't! Ooh! Unlucky. McQueen next. He was made for this set. Go! Oh no! He didn't make it either, so he's out. Shocker. Next, it's Iron Man. Go! Oh yes, brilliantly done. You're through. Superman's turn. Go! Oh dear, not enough speed. You're out. Now it's a Stormtrooper's turn. Go! What happened there? He knocked the crown off and turned himself upside down. You're definitely out. And finally, it's Captain America. Go! Did he make it? Almost, but not quite. Unlucky. So only these three made it into the next round. The layout has been changed. Now the contestants must launch off the ramp, over the cacti and the crown, and make it through the loop without touching the crown. Can any of them do it? Michelangelo to go first. Go! Oh, perfectly done. Not cleanly through, but he definitely made it. Well done. Ultron now. Go! What was he doing? He tried to steal the crown, but he failed. Oi, you touched the crown. You're out. Goodbye, Ultron. And Iron Man. Go! Oh wow, he made it. Whoa, wow. This is a close competition. So we have our final two, Iron Man and Michelangelo. Their final challenge is to perform the most impressive jump, judged by these two minions. Who will come out on top? Michelangelo first. Go! Oh wow, he's gone over the loop. Certainly impressive. Can Iron Man top it? Go! Another clean jump through the loop. A nice twist in the air. And he landed on his wheels. Very impressive. The judges have a tough call. <coughs> and the winner is... Iron Man! Well done.
<laughs> come back, come back. What was that about? Hmm, I don't know. But they came from that tunnel over there. Let's go investigate. Where are we? It seems to be some sort of scary racetrack. I'm going to enter this competition. And I can be a judge! Hello and welcome to Scary Racing. Each competitor will be racing for this trophy. Let's meet the contestants. First car to make it past the finish line wins, and the loser will be knocked out. First up, it's Spider-Man vs Batman. Ready, go! Looks like Spider-Man won this round, meaning he will go through. Unlucky Batman. Next up is Michelangelo vs Raphael. Ready, go! That was close. We're going to need Mater as judge. Raphael passes the line just before Michelangelo. Well done Raphael, you go through. Iron Man against Lightning McQueen. Ready, go! Lightning McQueen comfortably wins this round. Iron Man did not get a big enough jump. Last but not least, Finn McMissile vs Stormtrooper. Ready, go! Ooh, Finn just crept over the line, meaning he is in the semi-final. Close one, Stormtrooper. Here are our semi-finalists. Who will win? First up, Raphael against Spider-Man. Ready? That was close. Going to need Mater. Spider-Man just pipped it. That means Spider-Man is in the final, but Raphael was unlucky to lose. Lightning McQueen against Finn McMissile. Ready, go! We need slow motion for that one. Lightning McQueen crossed the line first. So it's McQueen vs Spider-Man in the final, challenging for the cup. Who will win? Ready, go! Spider-Man storms into that one and has won. Unlucky McQueen, couldn't quite win. Congratulations to Spider-Man, he is today's racing winner. Thank you everyone for playing. Hello and welcome to Eruption Escape. Marshall and I are the judges. So the contestants launch off down the track and into the volcano. And if it erupts, they are out. If not, then they go through to the next round. And they're playing for this. Right, let's get started. Michelangelo up first. Ready, go! Yes, he made it through without the volcano erupting. Batman now. Ready, go! Oh dear. It erupted. Unlucky Batman, but you're out. Can Iron Man make it? Ready, go! Yes, he can! 
So he's through. Venom next. Ready, go! No, it erupted. So that means you're out. Spider-Man. No, you're out too. Captain America. Ready, go. He made it. Well done, you're through. Wolverine now. Ready, go. No, it erupted. You're out. A stormtrooper's turn. Ready, go. Yes, clean through. Well done. Hulk now. Ready, go. Yes, yeah, sorry Hulk, it erupted. Ultron next. Ready, go. Yes, no eruption there. You're through. Black Widow. Ready. Very fast, but you caused an eruption, so you're out. Now it's the Joker. Go. Yes, that's how you do it. You're into the next round. Superman. Ready, go. Sorry Superman, it erupted, so you're out. And finally, it's Rex. It erupted, so you're out too. So these are the victors of that rap. Huh? Oh, we have a late entry. It's McQueen. Can he squeeze into the next round too? Oh, oh no, he can't. Unlucky. So these definitely are the only winners of that round. But can they do it again? Captain America up first. Ready, go! Oh no, it even knocked over a tree. Oh well, but you're out. Iron Man. Ready, go! Yes, he did it. But can anyone else do it as well? Stormtrooper. No, it erupted. Never mind. Ultron's turn. Ready, go! He made it erupt too. Can anyone else do it? It's the Joker. Uh oh! Oh dear, he crashed. Sorry, Joker, but that counts as a loss. Oh. Right, if Michelangelo makes it erupt, then Iron Man wins. No pressure. Ready, go. He made it! So we have a final two. The first car to make it erupt loses. Michelangelo up first. Ready, go. He's done it again! So all the pressure is now on Iron Man. Ready, And it's erupted. Unlucky Iron Man, but the winner is Michelangelo. Well done. Hello, and welcome to Tayo's colourful bus race. The four buses will be competing for these four eggs. And they've each got a lot of support. Rogie's the green bus, Garney's the red bus, Tayo's the blue bus, and Lanny's the yellow bus. They'll launch out of their stations, and the first one to touch the egg wins. They'll be competing for this Justice League egg first. Ooh, the Flash and Superman have their eyes on this. Right, let's begin. Ready, go. Oh no, Lanny's crashed into Hank. 
He doesn't look too impressed. Oh, and Tayo's run out of fuel. Who will win? It's Garni! Well done, red team! So you can open the egg. Robin was inside. Okay, next race. Now they're competing for an Avengers egg. Hulk and Iron Man both want this one. <laughs> okay, coast is clear. <laughs> Whoa! I didn't know Lanny could go that fast. Oh dear, she went too fast and crashed. Oops, we made her too fast. So it's between the other three. And Rogie wins the egg. Yes! So Hulk can open it. Iron Man was inside. So you didn't win the egg, Iron Man, but at least you were the prize. Oh, and minions? Yeah? No more cheating. Oh, okay. Next race. Who will win the Transformers Mashem? Ooh, it's close. Tayo's taking the lead. Go, Tayo! Go, Tayo! Cookies! And the winner is Cookies! Oh, I mean, I mean, Tayo! Inside was Bumblebee. So, it's the last race. Who will win the Despicable Me chocolate egg? <gasps> wow! No pressure, Lanny, but the minions really want this egg. Ready? Oh dear, Tyo's broken down. And Rogie's losing control of his steering. Oh no, he's blocked Garney. So Lanny wins. Hooray! Yeah! Woo! Well done, Lanny. What's in the egg? It's Edith! So well done everyone! All four teams won a prize! And what fantastic prizes they were! Thomas was very excited. Sir Topham Hat had a very special job for him to do. Sodor had an important visitor, and it was Thomas's job to show them around. He soon arrived at the docks. Are you here for the important visitor? Yes, I am. Ooh, here he is. A boat then arrived, carrying an engine. The engine was Etienne from the Great Race. Thomas recognised him immediately. Hello Etienne, 
I'm Thomas. Bonjour, Thomas. So the boat docked up to the track, so Thomas could show Etienne Sodor. Thomas showed him everywhere. This is a beautiful island, Thomas. Yes, it is. So, you're really fast then. Do you want a quick race? Ooh, I cannot say no to a race. All right then. First one to that signal over there wins. Three, two, one, go! Etienne had an early lead. And he just got further and further in front. It didn't take him long to win. <sighs> Phew, you are really fast. Ah, merci beaucoup. They were about to leave when they heard... Out of my way! Express coming through! It was Gordon! He immediately recognised Etienne. Ah, so you're the important visitor then. Bonjour, shooting star. You look, uh, different. Well, I don't need streamlining to be a really fast engine. Hey, why don't you two have a race? Both Etienne and Gordon agreed, so when Gordon had finished pulling his express, they started the race. OK, it's two laps. Are you ready? Of course they were. Three, two, one, go! They both shot off. They were matching each other's speed. It was a really close race. But Etienne pulled ahead. One lap down, one left. Gordon wasn't finished yet. He went a slightly different way. And got it in front. Thomas and the finish line were in sight. Gordon was still ahead. Etienne quickly changed lane so he could pull ahead of Gordon. It was really close. They reached the finish. And the winner is... Gordon! Yes, I won! Well done, Gordon. So the three of them had a nice chat. What a race. You two are really fast. Yes, for a small engine you are quick. Well, I am a very modern engine. It was getting late, so Etienne and Thomas headed back to the harbour so Etienne could go home. Merci, Thomas. Today was a fantastic day. You're welcome, Etienne. So he returned back to France. Thomas was sad to see him go, but he was sure that he'll be back someday soon. Welcome to the McDonald's drive through Mc Egg Race. There's a queue already, but where's the Topham hat? There he is. I think he's just had a crafty McBreakfast to start the day. Thomas put his order in to the Minion staff. Thomas has chosen the Justice League McKinder Surprise Egg. Off he goes to the start. He'll be racing against Gator, who chooses the 
My Little Pony McKinder Egg. At the start, Sir Topham Hatt explains that the engines need to push their eggs down the straight track. First one to the end wins. Losing egg gets opened and eaten. That's close. Sir Topham Hat, it's down to you. Thomas wins. Unlucky Gator, you can go and open your egg. Wake up, superheroes. You've got work to do. It's a flower. The next two racers are on their way to the drive through James got there first and ordered a masher McKinder egg to race. Diesel ordered a Disney princess muck egg. Come back Diesel, that's the wrong way. That's better. Ready, steady, go! It's close, but I think James just won. Sir Topham Hat confirmed it. Well done, James. Diesel, off to open your egg. Inside was Snow White. Now, Gordon at the drive through He's ordered a Palace Pets McKinder egg. He was racing against Percy, who ordered a Hello Kitty McEgg. Well, I think that one's easy to work out. Percy won easily. Gordon, you can open your egg. sure who that is. Perhaps you can let Gordon know in the comments. But Hulk and Spider-Man are fascinated by the mirror. Now two winners against each other. Thomas has ordered his Justice League McKinder egg again. And he's up against James who's ordered his Masha McKinder egg again. The winner will race against Percy in the final. Ready, steady, go! Oh, that's an easy win for Thomas. James, you can open your egg. It's a special Kinder Masher. Now the final. Percy collects his Hello Kitty look egg first. 
Thomas, who must be worn out by now, collects his Justice League Makinda egg. Thomas beats Percy. Well done, Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt sends Percy away to open his egg. Inside is a Hello Kitty. Thomas Your McEgg survives to race again another day. Welcome to Minion Bowling! Which character is inside? Only one way to find out! Hi Minions, I really want to open a Minion Minis. You have to win it! How do I win one? Minion Bowling! Just knock over six Minions! Great, I'll have a go! Yay! Why, hello! Huh? <sighs> I'll have a go too! Um, no. What do you mean, no? You have no arms. You can't play Minion Bowling. Can I have one anyway? No! Right, right, I get it. I'm still ready. Let's play Minion Bowling. Minions, I'm going to have the next turn. <laughs> okay. Let's play Minion Bowling. <laughs> I'm ready. One, you lose. Oh, minions! Can I buy one? Oh. Um, um, no! 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 You must win! No gold! Oh, these aren't gold coins. These are better. Chocolate coins! Oh, yum! No, 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 no! No coins. You must play Minion Bowling! Fine! I'll have the next turn. Let's play Minion Bowling!
me next. Let's play Minion Bowling. Yeah. A turn, or I'll use my weapon. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, thanks. Let's play minion bowling. I'll have a go, please. Let's play Minion Bowling! Six! You win! Paw Patrol pups were excited. Their friends, the PJ Masks, were visiting. Owlette was driving. We're here for the racing, said Catboy. Great, said Marshall. We've got a new racetrack. Shall we get our mini racers out? said Gecko. They got out their racers and put them at the bottom of the mini lookout. Paw Patrol against PJ Masks, said Ryder. Get ready! The mini lookout started turning. It then pushed Owlette towards the track. It started again. It pushed Chase out. So the first race was Owlette against Chase. Ready, steady, go! Owlette went faster and farther than Chase, so was declared the winner. The next race was Catboy against Marshall. Ready, steady, go! Catboy was so much faster than Marshall's mini fire engine. Next race was Rubble against Gecko. Ready, steady, go! 
Neither vehicle was exactly built for speed, but Rubble somehow managed to make his bulldozer go faster. They gathered together and decided that the PJ Masks racers were the fastest. How about some skill driving, said Marshall, knocking Skittles over. Great idea, said Gecko. They got their vehicles back at the base of the mini lookout to be chosen. Rubble was chosen first. He got into position. A strike. How did he do that? His bulldozer tipped up and toppled over into the skittles. A good uh, but lucky start for the Paw Patrol. Next was Gecko. Five. A good score and very well driven. Catboy was chosen next. A strike! Wow, that was good! Next, Marshall. Marshall needs a good score here. Oh, one. He stopped far too soon. Never mind, Marshall. Next, Chase. Chase, the Paw Patrol need you. Two. Oh dear. Chase tried to do what Rubble did, but didn't do so well. Last to go, Owlet. Another strike! That was very well aimed. I think we need some more practice, said Marshall. Ryder congratulated the PJ Masks. I think we'll stick to rescues at the moment, he said. We're very good at that. Owlet, Catboy and Gecko thanked the Paw Patrol for a fun afternoon and left. Come on, let's get ready for a rescue, said Rubble, and off they went. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, go on, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and then watch one of our other Paw Patrol stories by clicking one of these pictures. See you soon. Thank you.